Shalom, it's your brother Yeraki, and all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rechach Wadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom, the elect of Israel, the one third, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whom the Lord will have mercy on in these latter days. Shalom, Shalom to the brothers, the men of the Lord that are preaching the word, the gospel, and truth and sincerity on the highways and byways. Shalom, and I have another quick uh, news update. Uh, man, it seems like news is just happening. I mean, it's happening hourly at this point. There's just more and more prophecy taking place. But uh, I was out there earlier and I saw, I got to witness the spirit, you know, that Jake is in out there in these protests. And honestly, you know, all it takes is the most high to just turn the dial just a little bit for all hell to break loose with some of these Edomites who are not with us. So... I wanted to show, share this article just to show how, how close we are from 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 Ezra's second Ezra's fifteen, uh, from really popping off here. You know, um, it says uh, SLC protest man uses hunting bow on crowd, gets swarmed, car burned. <laughs> you know, so you have this Edomite, you know, this devil here, this so-called white man. He got a he's got a goddamn bow in his hand, man, and he he basically starts firing it off into uh to the crowd, at Jake basically, you know. So I'll read this real quick. It says a rogue vigilante started firing arrows at protesters in Utah this weekend, and it cost him and his car dearly, almost instantly, you know, because he probably figured he was in Utah, you know, it's a lot of white people out there. He's not gonna get <laughs> he's not gonna get prosecuted out there, you know. It might be a different story in like a Chicago or like a Philly or New York, but uh, you know this is a this is a bold Edomite, you know, and and they're and they're about to get bold. That spirit is about to come on them heavy, you know. Uh, it says the scene was was uh, filmed Saturday in Salt Lake City, where protests and riots are in full swing right now, as they are in many parts of the other uh, in many parts of the country. Uh, apparently, a group of protesters had blocked off the road somewhere there in town, and one man had had enough. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he got he got real red. You know, uh, this is a tweet. I said William brought a hunting bow to the to the uh, SLC protests. Uh, it says he emerged from his vehicle with a hunting bow he had on him and supposedly started brandishing it toward the crowd, seemingly threatening to shoot arrows at people one woman had a brief convo with the guy asking if he's serious and he considers himself american and if he considers himself american uh with that you know first of all that is the american thing to do is to shoot a nigger you know uh he says he does and then appears to start actually firing at some folks <laughs> you know showing the devil is showing himself it it uh it looks like one person might have been hit as they fell to the ground, and when a man tried shooting at more people, he got bum rushed <laughs> with a bunch of bodies who proceeded to beat his ass and take him to the ground. <laughs> you know, so let me get uh, let me get the precept here. Um, really, all, all of Psalms ten, uh, it, it applies here. It says, "Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Why hidest thou?" Thyself in times of trouble. Uh, verse 2 says, The wicked in his pride doeth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed, blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. You know, because he's not, he probably considers himself a Christian. You know, this Edomite, but not today, you know, <laughs> the day he, he's, you know, he's in his final form, you know, like Frieza, you know, uh, and he's showing his horns, you know. Uh, verse five, it says his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for his as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them because he's he scoffs. At you. He, he thinks all of this is madness. Jake's not justified, you know, and what they're doing out here, you know. Why can't you just be peaceful, you know? 
why can't you just let our people kill you in the streets, you know, <laughs> why, why you stay peaceful, you know, uh, that, that's what he's thinking, you know, uh, verse six, it says, he saith in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. Well, this is why this is such a shock to him, you know, because that's really what's in his heart, you know, and when he meets this adversity, look, how, how does he react? You know, he wants Jake to not be violent, but look at the first thing this guy does. You know, he pulls out a bow and Jake's not out there shooting people, you know. But what what does he do? He pulls out a bow and starts shooting. <laughs> he starts shooting that nigga. And if, if one of those Jakes got killed, you know, you know, that's the will of the Heavenly Father, you know. That that's that's just what it is, you know. Uh verse seven, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, you know, and you know he was cursing, you know, and just uh, you can just imagine what this devil was saying. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Verse 8, it says, He sitteth under the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places doeth he murder the innocent. You know, his eyes are prevalently set against the poor. And he knows these jakes are poor, you know. None of them are going to be able to afford lawyers, you know. <laughs> he's, you know, they're in Utah. You know, he's just going to shoot a nigga and just, you know, take his chances and get off, you know. Uh, verse 9, it says, He lieth and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. And this is just a stereotypical demon, you know. This this is this is the devil, you know. Uh, verse 10, it says, He croucheth and humbleth himself that, he, that the poor may fall by his strong ones. And he said, and he hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten he, he hideth his face, will never see it, because he's thinking, you know, the most high is not going to judge me with all this chaos going on, you know, really nobody might not even see me, you know, and I'll get that in Sirach as well too, um, you know, I, and I believe, you know, through the spirit that that's, that's the, this, this man, he, he's a coward, you know, the reason he, he, he using the bow is because he's hoping nobody saw him, you know, because you can't hear a bow and all of that, and all of that rioting, you know. Now, if he'd have fired off a rifle or, or a handgun or something like that, you know, that would have been a different story, you know. But but look at him. He's trying to, he's out there trying to snipe Jake, you know. Now, what if that woman wouldn't have caught up with him and, and confronted this man, you know. He probably could have fired off like five or ten arrows, you know, before anybody even caught on what was going on, you know. Because you can't really hear a bow, a bow and arrow. This This is wicked, you know. You know, he, he wants Jake to use his words and be peaceful, you know. But but his first action of recourse, as soon as he gets uh upset, now the roads are just blocked here, you know. This is what he this is what he he does. Uh it, it's just yeah, I'll, I'll read that in a second. Let me, let me finish this. Uh He hide, yeah, he said he he has said in his heart, God hath, hath forgotten it. He hideth his face and will never see it. Uh, verse twelve: Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. And the Most High has not forgotten. He's watching every single thing. This is his doing, you know. Now the Jakes they get up, they get judged out there. You know they they were just up to two thirds, and the elect of Israel just have we just have to make our peace with that, you know. And, and just be just be grateful, stay stay attached to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, that we're not of that lot, you know. Uh, it says, Wherefore do it the wicked contemn God. He had said in his heart, Thou will not require it. You know? Because he, he's just the devil, he's the antithesis of righteousness, you know. Uh let's say as he verse 14, thou hast seen it, but thou Beholdest mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper, but of the father. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. As break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. And the Most High is definitely getting ready to do that. <laughs> you know, he's about to make a thorough, a thorough and speedy riddance of Esau Edom, you know. Uh, you know, the, at least the bulk of his seed, and they're gonna serve the remnant of them is gonna serve slavery. You know, uh, verse sixteen it says, "The Lord 
is king forever and ever, and, and the heathen are perished out of, this, out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble, thou wilt prepare their heart, thou wilt cause thine ear to hear, and the elect are waking up. You know, those are the Jakes who, who, are, who are coming back to, to the Most High. They're trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. They're repenting. They're seeing what's going on, and they're being they're being awakened. They're they're gaining wisdom with all of this. They're not being drawn into this, this this folly that's going on out in the streets, you know. That that's 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 the awakening, you know. Uh, last verse it says to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no may no more oppress, you know. Now let me get verse uh, chapter eleven real quick. Um, because this goes just in hand with that. It says, In the Lord I put my trust. How say ye to my soul? Flee as a bird to your, mor to, to your mountain. Uh, verse 2, For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. You know? And, and that's us. We represent the upright in heart. Now, there are a lot of jakes that, out there that... Uh, that are wicked, you know, that are that aren't right, but you know, in his heart, he he's shooting at what he, who he knows to be the righteous seed, you know, the ones who are out there in a righteous spirit, which is anger or indignation, you know, from what happened, you know, they're not just out there for no reason. He knows they're out there because of the wickedness that's committed by his people, you know. But what does he do? He goes out there with the bow, you know, to privately shoot at them, <laughs> you know. So in the foundation, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold his eyelids. His eyelids try the children of men. It says, uh, the Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence, his soul hateth. So the most high absolutely hates you. Don't get it twisted just because he's letting you have your victory, you know, you're reigning over the earth, you know, you're just spewing madness all over the, all over the earth, you know, it, it feels like you're winning, but, but the most I setting you up, verse six, upon the wicked, he shall, he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest, this shall be the portion of their cup, so even though it looks like they're winning, you know, that they're killing us and they're getting away with it and, you know, the rich are getting richer. That they're heaping all this money and saddling you with the debt. You know, this is their lot. This is ultimately what 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 the end will be for them. You know, uh, last verse it says, "For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness; his countenance doeth behold the upright." So ultimately, he's he's standing with Israel, the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, the upright. You know, uh, and I'll finish this article real quick, and. Uh, Yeah, we got that part. This is the tweet. It says, he was yelling at me. <laughs> the girl that confronted him, I guess. He was yelling at me and then aimed his bow at a black man standing behind me. The black man saw it coming, charged, and tackled him. <laughs> so Jake is starting to, uh, Jake is starting to turn up, man. Let's, let's get it. This is, uh, this is Genesis 49. Now, eventually, you know, it's going to settle. It's going to settle in Jake's spirit that things are not going back to normal and that his only recourse is to rise up. So this is Genesis 49 and 9. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey. My son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He, he couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. You know what well, Esau is going to rouse him up, you know, and once Judah wakes up, you know, so is Ephraim, you know, and, and those two. Those two uh, olive trees, those two those two sticks, they're gonna come back together, you know. And and that's and that's uh, and that's what you're gonna have here, you know, because that guy, that guy was wicked as hell, you know. Let me get one last thing for uh, on that uh, damn Edomite. Uh, this is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Uh, 19 and 28 and if for want of power he be hindered from sinning yet when he findeth opportunity 
he will do evil. And this Edomite saw an opportunity to do evil. He, he got that bow because he thought it was quiet and he can take a few niggas out, you know, and maybe he gets blamed on somebody else. Probably gets blamed, blamed on another Jake, you know, if no one saw him, you know. Like, you know, if, you, if you're going, if you're going, you know, take Jake out, man, at least own it, you know. At least that other wicked cop that Edomite sit, sat there in front of everybody on camera, you know, with that damn demon on him and just kneeled on just kneeled on his neck and just, you know, snuffed him out, you know. You know, he, he was bold in his wickedness, not, not this guy, you know. He, he He's the devil, you know, and he's got to be exterminated, you know. After he after he pays for the things that he's done uh, in the planet Earth. You know, and I'll get this last precept to Genesis 49. Uh, I heard the brothers bring it out earlier. Zechariah 9 and 13. It says, when, when I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, showing you Judah and Ephraim are going to, going to, uh, are going to come back together, you know, all that, all that hate and that enmity, you know, it says Judah shall not vex Ephraim, all that's about to be done away with, you know, the vibe, the mood is changing, you know, our, our true focus is about to be on who, who the real devil is, who's about to make himself uh, abundantly clear who he really is, uh, it says, uh, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. So we're in that time, brothers. I just wanted to share uh, this and this bit of news that that came out, which is ridiculous. I mean, you're gonna the most eyes just making moves, you know. Um, you're going to see more and more of this going on. This is on TMZ. You brothers can read uh, the full article when you get a moment. Um but I just wanted to get that. Hopefully, y'all edified. Call halal, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachach Wadash. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.